What's up guys? So the 2019 New York Yankees are currently sitting at 98 wins um, with, you know, hopes of clinching the American League within the next couple of games. Now in 1976, that number 98 would have been good enough to clinch the American League with that 76 team winning 97 games um, and being named um, American League champs. So here today, Chris and I have a 1976 American League Championship ring from the New York Yankees. Now, 76 was a huge year for the Yanks, you know, not only clinching the pennant, but a lot of things going on. So obviously, in 73, the Yankees, um, you know, were bought out by George Steinbrenner, the boss. Um, they renovated Yankee Stadium, and in 76 is when the stadium reopened. They named Thurman Munson their captain that year, the first captain since Lou Gehrig, so a lot of stuff going on. Um, if you were around back then or if you know anything about baseball, of course, to make it to the World Series, they beat the Royals in five games in the American League Championship Series with the iconic Chris Chambliss walk-off home run in Game 5. Um, so just a big year, you know, heading into, you know, the following two years where they won back-to-back -back World Series. Um, so it's a big year for the Yanks, obviously, 76. Um, this is George Steinbrenner's first championship even though it's just american league it was steinbrenner's first championship so you could just tell from the ring right off the bat you know giant yankee logo bright shiny gold he was not going to skimp out as on his first ring um as the yankee owner uh cb is going to tell you more specs about the ring itself now actually yeah so um as chris just said in true steinbrenner fashion he made a big beautiful ring and Again, it's solid gold, 10 karat gold, um, diamonds. And if you compare it to any other ring from the time, this is one of the nicest, if not the nicest. And it's only American League Championship. So we have the nice NY in the front. I'm going to take it off of here for a second here. NY um, and diamonds. And then we'll flip it over here. So we have 76. And then we have Yankee Stadium. And it says tradition below. <clears throat> and then on this side, it says O'Rourke. Now that's the person... Um, who this ring belonged to, and that's Frank O'Rourke. We looked him up. He actually played um, in the teens, 20s, and 30s, and then he was a Yankee scout in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and uh, 80s. So this is his ring, um, and then below his name, we have the Yankee uh, logo, and it says Pride below. It's made by Balfour, as it says on the inside, 10 carat in there as well. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful ring. Um, very, it's actually pretty rare because with American League Championship rings, they don't make as many as they do with the World Series rings. So um, they're not as abundant. So we rarely see them even in public auction um, when you compare them, especially to World Series rings uh, from the time. But uh, really cool ring. The first one we've owned again from this yeah. time. And uh, just beautiful. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. You know, you always feel like any decade you choose, the Yankees always dominated. But... Believe it or not, this 76 playoff berth was the first time the Yanks had made the playoffs since 64, you know, with Mantle just coming off the end of his yeah. prime. So there was a, a big lull there um, before making it. And then, of course, you know, even though they lost to the Big Red Machine in this World Series, um, the next two years they won. So, you know, kind of showed the progression and the rebuild with Steinbrenner and, you know, with guys like Reggie Jackson and, you know, Munson and Chambliss, you know, who we mentioned before. So just an awesome piece, one of my favorites for sure. Absolutely. So thanks for watching the Daily Brigandy. We'll see you tomorrow.